Never had one before. This is our very first. This is the new model, Mercedes-Benz GLE 350DE. So it's a hybrid vehicle, two litre diesel, but the hybrid vehicle means it's got a lithium battery in it as well, which gives you a range of up to 66 miles. It's a plug-in hybrid. It's the Coupe GLE 2021, 21 registration with only 16,900 miles on in an awesome colour called the Brilliant Blue. Now, this is a premium plus, so when it comes to specification, it's got all of it, everything you can think of. It's absolutely amazing. I love the styling. It's a very premium car, but it's SUV, so you have ground clearance, lots of cabin space, and it's got a very particular stance about it, just the way it looks. Under manufacturer's warranty, and like I said, that plug-in hybrid really does make a difference. You've got 320 brake horsepower, not a 16, 6.8 seconds, and for a car this size, that's also brilliant. Now let's start from the front. It is a new model car, so the first thing you'll notice is a new design to the headlights, and that's throughout the full Mercedes range. That lovely sharp but angular look. You've then got the full multi-beam LED headlights on this one with the LED daytime running lights. You've then got front rear parking sensors, and you have park assist and 360 camera system. That's the front camera, the side cameras, and the rear camera. The full beautiful diamond grille there. You've then got the AMG bumpers, so it's a bit more sporty and refined with the chrome sections and the slats and the front lip just going on there. If you come around to the side, you'll notice this car's got the 22 inch alloy wheels, which is the biggest and the best wheels you can get. Now, you can't order the, these wheels anymore. They've stopped making them and I think it's a real shame because they are absolutely stunning, make a massive difference on this car. Fixed side steps, EQ power badging going on, some protection glass, comfort access, but it's that interior. So you're hit with the ambient lighting first and foremost, which you can change your colours on. Full leather seats, perforated seats, heated seats, memory seats, and you have ventilated seats. But then you have the full carry-on dashboard, which is that lovely virtual sort of digital dash going on. Touchscreen media system, flat bottom steering wheel, dual zone climate control, and you have got the full panoramic roof, which does tilt and slide all the way back. Being the Premium Plus, you've also got the Burmeister sound system, which is a massive extra, and it's a great quality on the, on the sound if you like your music. It is a five-seater coupe, three-point seat belts, ice fix attachments, again, more ambient lighting around the back, front, side, and rear airbags. But you can see the sloping back on it being that coupe style, and it has that real good stance. You've then got the three-dimensional LED lighting system around the back, four-matic, because remember, it is four-wheel drive. Oh, I forgot to show you. So on this side, you have the plug-in for the hybrid side of stuff. Both adapters there, that's to connect and disconnect. On the other side, you have the normal fuel. Automatic tailgate, yes, you do lose a little bit in the boot because it's been raised because of the battery, but that's still more than enough of boot space and you can lower it by pressing this button just there. All the cables and paraphernalia that the car came with is, is right here. Automatic tailgate, lovely rear diffuser with exhaust faces there, but again, a nice wide stance on that rear bumper as well. As for the driver's side of stuff, you've got very nice comfortable seats. Electric windows, mirrors on that side, but then you have features like heads up display, a nice wide screen just there showing you how fast you're going, how fast you should be going, navigation details, and other useful tools. The multi function steering wheel is lovely, it's nice and sporty, leather wrapped. You've got the black ceramic touch button here, which controls that screen, and that one here, which controls this screen. But then you have features like adaptive cruise control, the limiter, voice control, stereo controls, and Bluetooth controls on the left-hand side. All the adjustments for the steering column, up and down, and in and out. Down here on the centre console, a few things. You have the sort of can cooler or coffee warmer down here. Two keys, wireless charging pad, USCs all the way around, another touch pad here, and then the air suspension switch just there. The armrest splits in two, and you've got more USC in there as well, but for me, it's a seat in position. It's a futuristic, modern vibe that this car gives you. Even the wood finish on it, it's just nice with that matte look to it. 16,000 miles, one owner from new, full Mercedes service history, GLE 350DE Coupe in the brilliant blue with them 22 inch huge wheels. Cracking car, cracking specification. Remember, the range is up to 66 miles. That all depends on weather, depends on how much electric you're using, traffic. But you know what? You're getting more than enough power and you're getting a fabulous motor. My name's Joe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.